Scottish ale from Oregon. Let's hope it's not crap. And uh, all right, so to do this, ah, this is coming in 5.3% alcohol, fearless Scottish ale. All right, so uh, yeah, and it's from. Estacada, Oregon, center of the brewing universe, Skull. All right, so uh, this is what we're doing here. Let's pour this. Actually, I got a bigger glass here. It's still clean and everything. Okay, a bit of an amber looking thing going on here. Bit of a tan color to the head, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, not smelling it yet. All right. Okay, that's a pretty cool can, though. All right. Ah, uh, smelling pretty typical. I hope it's really good because, uh, they didn't have a price tag on it, so we're gonna get to the till. They fucking. Can. Yep, almost five bucks a fucking can. Well, smelling just bready, yeasty, like a typical amber. It's uh, quite hazy. Looks like a real nice color, quite unfiltered looking. Do the close up of the head thing, right? Yeah, not bad on top at all. So, uh,. Whoa, getting a lot of barley, a lot of barley husk. Uh, kind of a bitterness in the middle I'm not quite familiar with. It's probably some kind of hop. And it finishes sweet. Sweet, but like not a heavy sweet, like a light sweetness. Like a very refreshing sweetness. Uh, and just a sweetness in the finish, like holy shit, like big time. Um, yeah, I'm going to try that again. That was awesome. Yeah, very together mouthfeel, like the carbonation is very, uh, I'm trying to think how we describe that, very tight packed and, and even, you know what I mean, like it's uh, very small bubbles, behaving in unison, <laughs> this shit's organized, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Kind of a harsh bitterness, like not harsh, like a bit of a bitterness around uh, right off the start. Getting a real nice bready kind of uh, taste going on. Then you're picking out a little bit more of the actual hop flavor. And it's going to do a nice uh, sweet uh, aftertaste that kind of blends with the hops. Um, <clears throat> a little bit different of a hop. It's earthy, but yeah, it's just kind of a little bit of a bitter plantiness as well. Kind of like a Goldings with like a bit of a more of a <clears throat> resiny edge to it maybe. Uh, very, very impressed with this. I'm, I'm quite happy. It's got that uh, very unfiltered uh, appearance, so it's coming through in the taste as well as just being a heavier, more full beverage. One, that, one that's worth the money. It could start to be a little bit cheaper, I'd say, but it's, it's, uh, you know, it came from. I, I don't know how. This is exclusive shit. I've never seen it before, so uh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, this is one of the uh, greatest uh, beers that I've liked for having a, a malt presence. Like the the malt is it's heavy, but it's not overdone, and it's very well balanced with the rest of the beer. And it's got a great mouthfeel, great uh, carbonation to it. Um, 
that's just a tight bang of beer. Um, you know, so we're getting some lacing and all that. It's not uh, too wild. Typical kind of British Isles kind of thing, if you want to call it that. Scotland. I guess I didn't separate a few weeks ago there. But uh, so you got the Viking on the can here. There's a lot of uh, uh, Scandinavian influence in the uh, highlands of Scotland, right? <clears throat> That's why their accent's kind of similar to Scandinavian. <clears throat> or Norwegian or whatever you want to say. Much softer than uh, the Glasgow accent. A little bit harsher. <sighs> this is really good. Like for the style, this is really good. All right. Uh, great lacing, great mouthfeel, very full, very, uh, very, uh, very heavy, but yet not overly malty. You know what I'm saying? So it's. It's a nice, full, rich, heavy beer that's still drinkable and uh, still isn't out of balance with the rest of the flavors in the beer, like let's say the alcohol and things like that. You are picking up a little bit of alcohol in here. <clears throat> this is a fabulous beverage. Uh, you know, fucking kick ass, guys. Uh, so if you haven't heard of uh, Fearless, what do they call it? So Fearless may be the brand, right? Fearless. So if you haven't uh, heard of these guys, uh, check it out. Um, so far, most of the beers from Oregon I've had have been pretty fucking good. So, yeah, yeah. Not much else to say here. Have a good night, everybody. Pure Zerker, we've got to give this one a rate. I'm going to fucking... For the style, it's fucking like a grand slam, probably. It's it's quite nice. There might be a better one somewhere. I'd say it's like 10.5 for the style. For beer overall, I'm going to give it uh, 10 and a quarter because I really like this style of beer. Nothing too over the top. It's what it's supposed to be. It's a great beer, 10 and a quarter. Uh, this is my the best Scottish ale I think I've ever had. Fabulous, guys. Great job. It's not crap, even though it's from Oregon. Yeah!